What's going on everybody? Welcome to another OpenCV with Python tutorial. In this tutorial, we're going to be building, be building off the last tutorial where we are learning how to create our own hard cascade files, uh, which is a pretty big task to do, but we're going to figure it out. So, uh, in the last tutorial, we set up our server, we're ready to run OpenCV and stuff like that, but first we need to get the images. So, as I was saying before, we need to grab thousands, ideally, um, negative images and even double that of positive images. Now our goal here, we're going to get about 2,000 negative images. We're going to train against the, or we're going to create samples of positive images based on those negative images. So we'll have about 2,000 positives, and then we'll just simply train it with a thousand of the negatives. So, but first we have to get those negatives. So the way that we're going to do that is we're going to come back to our script. And uh, this is a script I'm writing on my main computer that has Python 3 and OpenCV. At the time of my film in this tutorial, I could not get Python 3 and uh, OpenCV 3.0 to work correctly on Linux. So I'm not doing it. Now you can get OpenCV and Python 2 on Linux, no problem. So if you're doing that, just understand that the code I'm writing here is Python 3 code. The main difference will just be URL lib, okay? I'm gonna be using Python 3 version of URL lib, okay? So the code is a little different, so just note the differences. So uh, let's go ahead and get started. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna import URL lib.request to make our requests, import cv2 for OpenCV, import numpy as mp, and import os. What we're gonna do is we're gonna write a script. These are the two um, links. We'll go to this link and this link. What we're gonna do is we're gonna go visit this link. We're gonna split these URLs by new line, basically. We're gonna go to the URL, download the image, the images are varying size. We need them all to be the same size, 100 by 100. So we're going to download the image, open the image in OpenCV, resize the image in OpenCV, convert it to gray, not necessarily in that order, and then save the image. Okay, so that's what we're going to do to both of these links. So let's go ahead and uh, start that code. So we're going to define store raw images. And we're gonna say neg images uh, link equals, and we'll just take one of these links. Um, as usual, this tutorial is linked to in the description of the video. So go to this the tutorial that's linked in this video and you can get these two links or find your own. These are negative links, therefore you can get anything except a, images of watches. So feel free to pick your own links. It really shouldn't matter. So we'll go ahead, and if it does matter, by the way, all the files that we're gonna be generating by running this script, I'll host on my website. So just in case for whatever reason, let's say you don't wanna get a giant server to pull the images, I've got your back. Um, but I would not suggest you just pull the, like the whole point, I hope, that, like if you just wanna download Hard Cascades and, and just get to run Hard Cascades, um, you really can stop the video, you can just download Hard Cascades somewhere, you just may not be able to find what you want. I assume everyone following here wants to actually learn how to do it, so you should follow along and do it. So anyways, copy that link. We'll paste that one, and then we'll do the other one afterwards. Uh, then what we're gonna say are is the neg images, uh, actually image URLs, neg image URLs equals um, URL lib.request.url open. So we're gonna open the neg images link. Uh, then we're gonna read it and decode it because of, you know, bytes. And then uh, we're going to start, we're going to want to iterate through these, but first we're going to say um, if not os.path.exists neg. So if that path doesn't exist, i.e. we don't have a directory called negative, let's go ahead and make it. So os.make ders. Um, and in, in the future, if you wanted to convert, I'm kind of like leaving these scripts open to conversion to include positive images. If you want to do that, you can build off these really easily. So just keep that in mind. So if that, if that directory doesn't exist, we're going to make it. Now we're going to start, we're going to say pick num equals one. So we're going to start saving, we're going to iterate through the pictures and save them. And then we're just going to use this as a simple counter moving up. Um, so the pictures are named something decent. And then as I told you guys in the previous video, we have to have a description file that just gives the, the location of all these files. So pick num 
is one. And then we're gonna say for I in neg image URLs dot split by new line. So those are the URLs that we just visited. Um, here, you split them by new line and bam, you've got the URL. Uh, what we want to do is try something or accept because a lot of these are going to fail. So accept exception as E and we'll just print stringy. E. Um, but we're going to try first. Let's print the link that we're visiting. Uh, then we're going to do urllib.request.url retrieve. This will be different on Python too. Um, retrieve that URL, and then where are we saving that retrieval to? Well, we're going to save it to neg slash plus the string pick number, pick num, um, plus dot jpg. So we're saving that raw image. This is both color and various sizes. For the most part, they're all about 500 wide, 300 tall, but a lot, but many will be different. So we're saving that raw image. Now, if only we knew of some way to modify images. All right, it's an OpenCV tutorial. So what we're going to do is we're going to say image equals cv2.mread. So we're going to read that image that we just saved right back in, read that image. Um, and we're going to read it in as cv2.mread dot or mread underscore grayscale. So bam, grayscale the image. Now we want to resize that image. So we're going to say resized image. And again, we can do this with OpenCV equals cv2.resize. What are we resizing? The image to what size? 100 by 100. These are our negatives. If you're pulling positive images, um, it, it depends. If you're pulling positive images to later just use as dupe, as things to run with create samples. So what cre create samples will do if you have like one image, like for us, we've got that image of the watch. If I can pull it up, I'm not sure which one it's under. I think it's this one. Yeah. We've got that image of that watch. What it's going to do is it's going to take that watch and just like superimpose it on our images of 100 by 100. And it'll like tilt the watch in different angles and put it in different places on the image. So that will, if since we have 2,000 negative images, in theory, if we had maybe, um, we've got 2,000 negative images. So one positive image will be applied to 2,000 negative images. That means we'll have about 2,000 positive images. And then we'll train against just 1,000 of the negatives. What you could do is you could have two pictures of a positive and then use create samples once, create samples twice, and now you actually have 4,000 create samples. You could do this 10 times and have, you know, a ton of them based on maybe five manually uh, edited pictures. So keep that in mind. So if you do it that way, they will be different size initially, like 50 by 50. But if you are pulling them from ImageNet to just simply manually label where that image is, you'd probably leave the positive images as a 100 by 100. Okay. So um, so anyways, that's our resized image. Now we're just going to go ahead and save it. So cv2.m write, and we save basically to the exact same location. So basically here, we m write right back there. And then what are we writing there? Well, we're writing the resized image. Finally, we do pick underscore num plus equals one. And then we call this URL to run. We'll run that, and then this is the directory I'm working in right now. So uh, let's run it. Make sure we don't have any errors, at least. And this will this will take even if it works correctly. Uh, this was gonna take yes, there we go. Um, this will take a while, probably mm, 15 minutes maybe. Uh, it just depends, I suppose. But here the pictures are, they're coming in slowly but surely, and we can see that sure enough they are being resized to 100 by 100 and grayscaled and all of that. So we're pulling in the images. And when all of this is done with this one, this link here, we're going to subsequently pull in the other link. So we're going to grab two different links here. So the other link um, is that link. So when this is all done, what you're going to want to do is update picnum to be the latest number. So like, let's say that link was done and all we have is all the way to 17. Before you run this new URL, you would say picnum equals uh, actually 18. So you don't overwrite that image and then you'll continue along. You'll probably have like 900 
or something like this. You'll put in 900 for that starting pick number or 901. Let's say if you had a perfect 900, 901 and run that next URL. You could actually make this very dynamic and say like, you know, if no file exists in the directory, pick num equals one, else pick num equals largest number in directory, something like this. You could do that, but um, this is such a, we don't, we don't really need this to be that fancy, but if you want to make it that fancy, go for it. So anyways, I'm going to pause the video here and I'm just going to say again, run this URL. And then when this one is all done, run this URL. So you'll have had those two URLs and don't forget to update Picnum. Otherwise you're going to overwrite your other images. Okay. So I'm going to leave you guys to that. I hope you guys can be um, okay with that parental supervision. And then in the next tutorial, we're going to be talking about ugly images. So let's see if we got any ugly images. Not yet. We don't have any uglies. I'm surprised. Um, you'll have some that are like colored, but I promise they're not actually colored. Like if we probably open this back up again. Well, it's just caching, I think. Let's do that. There we go. <laughs> I'm smarter than you, computer. So anyway, um, yeah. So go ahead and download that. It'll take probably, like I said, 15, 20 minutes, something like that. And you should be, you should have about 2,000. If I recall right, it'll be about 1,964. So anyways, um, that's that. Questions, comments, concerns, leave them below. Otherwise, uh, stay tuned to the next video. We'll get rid of the ugly pictures. We'll create our description files, and then we'll probably end that one while we're uploading the pictures to the server because that'll take probably 20, 30 minutes too. So anyways, that's that. As always, thanks for watching. Thanks for all the support subscriptions. Till next time.